Hello everybody, it's Classic David with yet another short video and let me wish you once again because this is the first video this year 2022. I'm wishing you first of all lots of health in this uh, time. It's of paramount importance, also I have found out because even in spite of having very strong immunity, I have not been sick or ill for years and years and I really I'm going jogging outside when it's freezing even so I have a strong immunity but still I the covid has had a very difficult I had dif very difficult symptoms uh, over the christmas so uh, not even the people with a strong immunity are spared so I'm wishing you lots of health this year and all, and also of course lots of success in the markets we're all here because of that and also it is my hope and I will do whatever I can for it to uh, bring you perhaps some good insights and also with your help perhaps to discover some new great projects and just overall be uh, to be as close as possible to being on point uh, about the market. So uh, this video is titled the expected volatility for Bitcoin and let me show you what I mean. Um, this indicator here, this line it's uh, it's it's the open interest slash market cap ratio. It's a very good way how you find out uh, whether people are over leveraging or are not. And also, I usually make a rectangle here, which is from uh, where are rectangles? Which is which begins at one point eight and goes upwards because one point eight is, in my opinion, the crucial uh, the crucial. Uh, value when people are really over leveraged and whenever we visited the 1.8 this rectangle area there was a huge volatility that followed and for instance the last time we almost or we touched it we like literally touched it at 26th of November 2021 and you see the volatility well we then came back to 42k when we were here at the end of July this summer and that was actually when the pumping began and then we consequently even broke from the summer band in which we were for months and we are actually approaching this area and I think my my call is that we are going to reach this area this over leveraged area this quarter and we are going to see volatility of course, volatility, it's not, um, well, it means <laughs> it's going to go up or down, right? But uh, given the other indicators, like we've been in an extreme greed for a while, um, but this is not like a solid indicator based on which anybody should go all in. This is not the indicator that you should go, that you should take to the bank. However, it is an indicator that means a lot. But... This is this is far better indicator. This is a heat map which shows me you are just on Coinbase, but Coinbase is in my experience is not a bad sample to see uh, whether where are buys, where are sells, and there are just so many buys. There is just so much buying pressure, so many left bots. So I really think that we should see that it's far far more likely that we are going to see the breakout from the band uh, above 52k uh, um, in the upcoming weeks I think even given how fast we're approaching this over, over leveraged area but there is uh, one more one more thing that um, uh, that I want to talk to you about and that is dominance because Bitcoin dominance my friends yesterday reached new yearly yearly low actually it was and it even had a close it had a daily close that was a new daily close multi multi years low so it was the last time when we had such a low bitcoin dominance it was just in january 2018 and you know what was happening in january 2018 but um um Dominance is something that I would really think based on this and I, I keep telling you this now for weeks and weeks on this channel that I would really think that we are going to dump 
on the dominance we are going to dump to the red line which is like 37.5 percent we are going to test the all time low of the bitcoin dominance that's what i would really think that is going to happen and what i would really also think that is going to happen that the ethereum uh on the bitcoin contract is finally going to go to the 0 0.10 or even 0 0.10 half even perhaps so like quite above where we were a couple of weeks ago this is what I would think, um, um, but um, at the other hand, uh, also as I told you in my uh, on my on my last video that was a uh, outlook 2022, I am unfortunately, and this is not popular thing to say, to come forward with, and I'm not even that proud of it that I'm coming forward with this, but unfortunately, I am not really bullish in this quarter or the next quarter this year. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe the next quarter, maybe Q2. I don't know that, that is just too far away. I just noticed or I just think that the best thing in the market is to take the, 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 take the indicators and evidence step by step. And right now we have a Q1, so it makes sense to talk about Q1. And as for Q1, I am not bullish. I am rather bearish. So I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted because... I see lots of evidence that would suggest that we are going to see some kind of an uptick or some kind of a, mm, a surge, at least for at least for altcoins. For uh, in, for instance, if the altcoins would surge, if if like Bitcoin would go to 52k, but Ethereum would go to 5,400 or so, even that would actually disindicate the greed and fear level. That would quite, I think, push it upward. We would go to the greed, to the greed, I think. Um, so it might be just for the altcoins. It might be just for the alts, but I think there is just there is quite a lot of evidence to suggest that. And also historically, Ethereum makes uh, historically moves towards the Bitcoin in January. Like this is the uh, Ethereum on, on uh, Bitcoin contract. Look at the monthly channel uh, candles, okay? So January 2021, look at the green. Look at the green. January 2020, okay. It was February 2020 when the move versus Bitcoin happened. That was also quite significant. It was still January, February 2019, 2019, that was the, okay, 2019, that was like the bottom of the bear market after the, after the Bitcoin bubble in 2017. Now 2018, that's 2018, January 2018, that's one of the biggest massive green candles ever recorded. 2017, okay, January was not that much, but well, that was the beginning of the uh, of the uh, you know very bullish year 2017. So that's also a little bit of a special case. But you just can see from the also from this evidence that January slash February. But I would even speculate that more in January, that Ethereum makes the moves versus Bitcoin. So yet another evidence why this month there should be or could be an uptick. And so. Uh, even being bearish for crypto in this quarter or perhaps even in the next quarter in the first half of this year i currently see many lots of evidence and many reasons why we should see some uh, uh some um uptick in the price but how exactly it's going to play out that no one can say but also based on the dominance, I could speculate that Bitcoin is not going to make that much of a move. It, it, I think it's going to again retest 52k, the, the upper side of the band, but um, it might stop there or it might not go, if it breaks, it might not go that much higher. But as for the altcoins, I think they could have a little bit of the run in the upcoming weeks to come. And with that being said, have a nice day.